we will be discussing uh, Gauss law objective 1 from HC Weber. In the first question, this is a uniformly distributed uh, charge over a large plastic plate and it produces a field of 10 volt per meter. So what will be the field if the same charge is uh, distributed over a conducting sheet copper plate? As the charge remains same, the field will remain same because charge is the only factor that decides the field not the material okay so the field will remain same for further clarification you must watch a video of conductors and uh, how the charges are distributed on uh, conducting and non-conducting plates so it will remain this but sigma will be different for these two plates on plastic plate there will be only one side charge completely distributed q and uh, whereas on copper plate both sides will be have equally q by 2 and q by 2 distributed all over its surface in the next question there is a metallic particle which is uh, placed near a finite metal plate which is having positive charge you can have a look this is a plate finite and this is a net zero metallic particle as induction will take place and attraction will dominate so overall attraction will take place between the plate and the particle so the particle will experience a force towards the plate in the next part there's a thin metallic shell this and uh, it has a charge capital q q1 is placed outside it and q is inside it you have to find the force on the charge at the center as no field will be able to enter inside the shell it will not experience any force so net force net force on the charge placed at center will be zero again i'm stating net force on the charge placed at the center will be zero in the next part it is asked that uh, what is the force that is applied by the shell to the charge placed at its center so we can just have a look at the diagram there will be two forces on the charge which is placed at the center due to q1 it will repel the charge so the shell has to attract the charge such that net force on the charge must be zero these two forces will cancel each other to produce net force on the charge as zero so shell will attract the charge and q1 will repel the charge so these are the forces and their directions by shell and by q1 in the next part there's a gaussian surface which encloses some small volume of charge and uh, the radius of the surface is 10, 10 centimeter and the flux through it is 20 volt meter so what will be the flux if the concentric sphere of 20 centimeter is made around it as the net charge enclosed look at the diagram there are two spheres one of radius 10 and another of 20 as the charge enclosed remains same the flux will remain same no matter what is the size of the sphere you enclose it by so charge enclosed remains same so flux remain same in this question number six there is a rod which is entering into this cube and we have to find how the flux will change in out of these given four options a b c d initially as the rod will enter the flux must increase through the cube so the flux must increase through the cube and when the rod is completely inserted have a look at the diagrams in initial position the rod length which is inside will increase so flux will increase from this position to this position again in all the diagrams rod is moving towards left so from this position to that position the length inside the cube will be l by 2 so the flux will remain constant and when the rod will start coming out of the cube flux will decrease to zero so flux will first increase then become constant then decreases and the rate of change of flux will be constant as the rod is moving with a constant speed so the correct option will be this plus 
is increasing at a constant rate then become constant for some time and then decrease to zero again at the same constant rate so option d is correct in the next question it is asked that how much flux will pass through this vessel if charge is q, uh, charge q is placed like this as the charge q is just at the periphery or just at the uh, open face of this vessel half of the field lines will enter through the vessel and half will not have a look at the diagram only half of the field lines will be able to enter the vessel and half will not so we can assume that uh, total contribution of the charge will be half of its value q by 2 epsilon naught will be the flux through the surface or through the vessel thank you